Hello my fellow travelers, welcome to this, your channel, I am OXM, and in my search for relevant content I decided to make a Genshin Impact video. Unfortunately, OBS doesn't want to record the game in my computer, so I'm stuck doing waifu videos. Because that's all we do here, alright? I'm doing this video without a script, so if you hear my voice cut uh, suddenly, it's maybe because I stutter a lot or <laughs> lose my train of thought. So yeah. A couple days ago, maybe yesterday or whenever you're seeing this video, I posted this tier list and this is my serious opinion about the current waifu roster in Genshin Impact as of uh, 15th of October. And today we're looking at my tier list, based on my own humble opinion. Starting from the bottom to the S tier. The first tier we have is Jail, you know. It's very simple, headpads only, if you lose any of them, I will search you myself and end your life. Okay, not really, but please don't do it. In this tier we only have three characters, we have Klee, Paimon aka Launchbox, and Kiki, a zombie. Uh, these are pretty cute, honestly, I really like Paimon, but I don't like the sea, literal sea of memes about wanting to eat her because of that one dialogue option at the beginning of the game. She's not food, she's a companion, okay? But I mean, you can do whatever you want. Okay, now that the lollies are out of the way, we can get into the real content. Now, in B tier, we have Amber, Xiao Ling, Sucrose, and Noel. I couldn't bring myself to make a C tier or below in this tier list, because not only it's a very limited roster, it's just that they're, they're all very good, so I couldn't bring myself to put anyone below B tier, okay? It's not because I don't like them, it's because everyone is good in their own right, only that B is like the lowest tier of right? Question mark? Okay, anyways, first we have Amber, we all know Amber, ha ha ha, useless character joke. We meet her at the beginning of the game, and I really like her actually, she's cheerful, and she's thick, and I really like her doll, the dance, the memes, they're all perfect. Then we have Shen Ling, who is another pyro character, she's not very good as Diluc, my boy Diluc, but her teddy bear is pretty cute, and she's proven kinda useful in some situations. Next we have Sucrose, and I don't personally know her, I haven't met, him, met her in the story, I don't have her, I haven't pulled her on from the gacha, so I don't have a very strong opinion. She's your standard nerdy girl, but I think she's kinda of a crazy scientist or something like that. So yeah, B tier for her. Finally we have Noelle, you know, combat mate. How cool is that? I really like it. And her noble dream of becoming a knight of Favonius, it's also pretty cool as well. It's a tank, probably the only tank in the game, and she's pretty cute at all. Okay, next we go to the A tier. And in the A tier we have Fischl, Sha King, Barbara, and Ningwen. I hope I said those n names right, I'm 99% sure I butchered them, but anyway, starting with Fischl, who I lovely call her the German girl, uh, she's pretty mysterious and she does a lot of Jojo poses, which I love. I have her and I really enjoy her quotes and her playstyle. It's a very useful bow character if you don't have her. And yeah, that's all I want to say. She's a lolly gothic, and we all know a large portion of the Weave community likes those. Next we have Seking, and I don't have her but I, because I just received the right to leeway in the game. Please, please don't spoil me. And she looks like a pretty good character overall. Your typical uh, staple fox girl slash cat girl, and you know, we can't have an anime game without one of those. So yeah, that's that. Next we have Barbara. And she's a nun that is also an idol, and I don't think I've seen any character combination like that. It's pretty cute, and she's very useful overall. Uh, she's the only healer I have. I think Noel heals. No, wait. I think those are artifacts. Well, anyway. And last we have Ningwen. I just recently met her in the story, and oh my god, she's prime Ara Ara material. Only being surpassed by Lisa herself. But yeah, this is our eighth year, and I think it's pretty good. I really want to know your guys' opinions, and if you want to butcher me in the stake or burn me because of my opinions, uh, you, you know, you can go ahead, I, I don't care. And finally, we have the best of the best, 
the final S tier. And you know, I'm very surprised this tier has the most participants overall. Uh, I thought it was going to be the most sparse one, but no, I realized my fetishes align with a good portion of the roster. Jan is her first participant, and you know, I really like her. It breaks my heart that she's a 5 star, and this game has a 0.6% chance to pull any 5 star from the gacha. So my heart breaks each time I think about it, and how probably I will never have her. But I like her so much. She's very cute. She's thick, oh my god, I love her <laughs> uniform. Then we have the Traveler, the female Traveler. It, I chose the brother because I haven't played a male character in a long time. Don't judge me for that. But we know that canonically her name is Lumine because the brother calls her that. So maybe it's the one of the two twins that has a name. I don't know if the female protagonist calls the brother for his name or something. I don't know, you can tell me in the comments. That that I want to know, because I, I don't know at all. Next we have Mona, and you know, the only saving grace of these characters, not only the fattest bottom of the game. No cap. No cap. Alright? She's also mm, a 5 star, and it breaks my heart once again, but she's nothing compared to the one mommy material in this game, Lisa. Oh my god, I love Lisa. She's powerful, she's very, uh, how to say it, seductive, and overall I really like her. She's one of my most leveled characters, I don't know if you do the same. And finally we have Beidou. I, I think I pronounced that name alright, if not, well then, it is what it is. But you know, I have a thing for strong women, and she has an eye patch, which... I, I don't know, it adds another layer of badassness, it's like the female version of Keia, but she's better, because according to her lore, she can split giant sea monsters in half by herself, and I just think that's the coolest thing ever. I don't have her, I think she's a 5 star, I don't know if she's even available in the game, I will suppose yes, but yeah, nothing more to say about this tier list, and you know, as always, that's that that's it for all the outro as always thanks for watching leave a like if you think the video is that good subscribe for more videos about your favorite uh zelda breath of the wild based game i don't know how to call this one i'll now see you travelers in the next one bye bye